Hello, everybody. I'm here at my open house today. It has been super busy. And um, gosh, I think we've already had maybe 30 people come through. It's been really crazy. Um, marketing, marketing and pictures, it's all what it's about. Um, we're here at 27590 Coyote Mesa in Horse Thief Canyon in, um, in Corona. So I just want you guys to see this beautiful home. It's open today from one to four and also tomorrow from one to four. Um, this is a gorgeous home that has RV parking. I'm gonna switch the camera around here so you guys can see everything and not just me. Um, here we go. So there is beautiful RV parking on the side. So plenty of parking space. The house has just recently been painted. Hey, check out that for sale sign. That's the best for sale sign ever. Um, it's got great landscaping. And this is the beautiful pool house that everybody has been commenting on and so excited to see because the pool is amazing. So let me take you in. I've actually already gotten an offer today. Um, people came prepared with it, which is kind of cool. It means that this, is, this house is going to go fast. So um, if you can see right when you come in the front door, you can already see the beautiful backyard. And it's got extra tall ceilings in here, which makes it very nice. There's wood floors and carpet, so it's nice and cozy. Lots of windows here. And tall ceilings, even in the, in the area where it's got, you know, where it's covered because of the bedrooms and stuff upstairs, the ceilings are still about 10 feet tall. Let me just give you guys a quick little peek back here because it is, absolutely gorgeous it's a little slice of paradise here in corona with the palapa and everything so i don't know if you guys can hear but we've got hawaiian music going because after all like i said we're in paradise right so we've got hawaiian music going here's the wood floors and this is the family room and there's the french door going out to the backyard um <laughs> Hey. hey, it's Christina, my hey wonderful, guys. awesome lender that I love so much. Aww. And um, so here's another little area, dinette area. And, um, and here's the kitchen. Kitchen is really nice with granite countertops and an island. It's beautiful. Stainless steel Samsung appliances. Let me just take you on a quick walk through here dark sink which is really nice and it's got really neat area up there so that you can decorate beautiful wood floors and then it's got this nice little um, desk area so the kids can be doing their homework and um, you can keep like your coupons and your movie tickets and all that kind of stuff there where it's nice and easily accessible, which I love. Then through here, you have a very large laundry room that goes back out into the garage, which is a three car garage. Really nice, deep utility sink and, and um, cabinetry there. Here, um, got a nice food pantry nice storage there here's the downstairs bathroom which is not just a quarter bathroom it actually has a shower which is super convenient and then through this door right here you're still in the bathroom is this hidden little area that you can put the kids in when they're misbehaving just kidding um it's actually storage underneath here look at all that storage space very nice. And then you just tuck it back away and it's gone. And there's tile flooring in there. And if you just swing right on over, see there's the front door. And here is a downstairs bedroom for those of you who have older parents or you just want your guests to stay downstairs. Um, it's got carpeting in here. 
and it's just really, really convenient. Also, this home is equipped with fire sprinklers, which is a great thing to have um, for insurance purposes. You wanna make sure that you let your insurance um, agent know that your home is equipped with these drop-down fire sprinklers so um, that you get that discount. Recess lighting, of course, safety first, and we've got our fire, um, extinct, or fire alarms. It also comes equipped with this very nice Lennox um, thermostat. And then we go upstairs and here is a nice loft in between the master bedrooms and the secondary bedrooms. Let me just swing back around here because I want you guys to see how tall this is and how spacious. And you can actually see the front door from here. But the sunlight coming in is just exceptional. You can see down there into the living room and you have this convenient storage right here for maybe games or more linens, whatever you choose. And here is little Miss Hope's bedroom. It's got the cutest window seat. Oh my gosh, for your reading pleasure. So pretty. And this is a really big room. This is, I believe this is a queen size bed and you still have a lot of space. Carpeted up here with the chair railings and you've got room for, look at that, two dressers and a desk. I mean, it, this room is huge and it looks down onto the neighborhood, but this is so cute and picturesque for a little reading space for a young lady. And then, oh, and they have ceiling fans too. Um, again, there's the loft. And here is the secondary bathroom, double sinks. Oops, I still have my sunglasses on, whoops. Um, double sinks and tub and shower. So nice and cool in here. They had a brand new AC unit put in um, in February. And let me tell you, you can notice the power of that air conditioning system. Here is their craft and um, craft room and office. Got these really cool shelves built in here. And um, that's a large desk. I'm not sure if you guys can actually tell how big that desk is, but check out the bedroom sizes. I mean, the bedroom sizes are just super big. And then you come to the front room and the front room is huge, huge. That's a queen size bed dresser, all these toys, three big windows. And let me just swing over here because you guys cannot appreciate how big this room is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gigantic. So they use this as an extra bedroom and a playroom, obviously, but this could fit a pool table and um, a poker table. This could be the kids' playroom, kind of like they have it set up as well. Um, it could be your guest room, an extra large guest room. This is truly the size of two bedrooms in here. It really, really is. It's ridiculously large. And then, so there's the office again, then the hall, and then that bathroom again, and the other bedroom that I showed you. Here we are at the loft again. And this is the master bedroom. The master bedroom is awesome. Look at this. So imagine waking up to this every day. It feels like you're in a resort in Hawaii. Like seriously, look at that. That's your view. So when you wake up in the morning, that's what you see. Birds of paradise, palm trees, your tiki hut here, your palapa. That jacuzzi is big enough for 10 to 12 adults. I'm not sure if you guys can see down there underneath the waterfall, but it, um, it actually has bench seats and a table in there. 
So you could have drinks in there. And then look at the size of that sandbar right there. That's humongous. It's like beach entry. And that pool has an enormous slide. And it goes down into six feet of water. So um, we'll take you out there in just a second, but I just wanted to pan back around to show you how big this master bedroom is. It is so spacious. They've got so much room here. And then you walk into the bathroom. Dual sink vanities, soaking tub, beautiful shower, the potty. And then you have this extremely spacious walk-in closet. Look at that, it is so nice. Well, hello, darling. There's your attic access. Just so spacious in here. I will tell you that these um, clients of mine, this is our second time working together. I actually helped them buy this house and they had me come a couple months ago and asked for suggestions on what they should do to their home. And they followed every instruction that I gave them to a T. They removed every personal picture. They removed um, furniture. They put furniture in different areas. They really, really, really listened 100%. And I'm gonna tell you what, it makes all the difference because an agent came today with her clients and they already had their offer written. So when, um, when my clients decide to work with me, I do ask them to you know, rate the homes when they're a buyer that they're looking at one to 10. And that opens up dialogue for um, husbands and wives, wives and wives, husbands and husbands. So they know what each other's thinking um, when they go to certain homes, you know, and they, that, that rating system like kind of opens up that dialogue to say, well, why did you like that house? Or why didn't you like that house? What do you mean it's a nine? I thought it was only a three. You know, it really opens up dialogue and helps clear the air for um, for you to get a better idea of what your other significant other is thinking. Um, so being a seller, when you listen to everything that your realtor suggests makes all the difference because like I said, we already have an offer that was given here at the open house. Um, I wanna take you guys outside, but actually I need to get my shoes cause it's blazing hot out here today. So let me grab my shoes and take you guys outside to see this area. I will sacrifice and go in the heat for you guys. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Check this out. Stamped concrete. Beautiful swing. I've seen so many people sitting on this swing and just enjoying the view today. Um, while they're here at the open house. Literally, people are just sitting here looking and enjoying this. There's a fire pit over there that you guys can do s'mores in. And I'm gonna take you guys up the stairs so you guys can get a look at the whole backyard from the top of the stairs. And no, I'm not going down the slide. I thought there was one lady, she was kind of older. I thought she was gonna go down the slide for sure. So this is the view of the backyard from the top of the slide. There's the master bedroom up there. Do you see that? That's the master bedroom. That is the door from the living room. And then right there is where I came out of. That is the formal dining room. And there's your formal living room right there. So this is the view that you have at the top of the slide. Absolutely gorgeous. What I like about these rocks too, they have really good grip. So I wouldn't worry about the kids coming on the slide or up the stairs to go down the slide when they're wet. It's got really great grip. These boulders are gigantic. Look at this, so beautiful. Makes you wanna just jump in on a hot day like today. I can't tell you how many people have begged to get in today. One little boy had a complete meltdown because he couldn't get in. Check it out. Do you guys see the, um, that area down there? There's the bench seating and the, um, the table. You can hang out there if it's too hot, if the sun is blazing too much. 
and this beach entry. Holy cow. I'm in heaven. Look at that. And under the palapa here, let me take you guys in the outdoor kitchen. You got your barbecue. And you got some cool drawers there. Burners. More drawers. This is um this is another heating element here. Oops. You can keep your condiments cold and stuff like that right there. Oh hey, thanks, Dean and Suzanne. I think I'll take one of those. Just kidding. This is a saltwater pool. And it is so nice. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Spilling on over. And here's the fire pit. Can have some good conversation over here. And the RV parking. There's 40 solar panels on this house. And um, the payment's only $216 a month. It is a purchase, not a lease. So this home has like literally no electric bill. And to run this kind of a pool and to cool this size of a house, that's unheard of. So anyways, I'm glad that you guys all came along with me for this tour. I can't wait to update you later on this week to tell you um, exactly how much we got for this house. I feel like we're gonna break a few records here. And it all has to do with um, my sellers listening to my suggestions following through on them and of course Jonathan my son his amazing photography and video skills I can't tell you it's all about marketing and photos and Johnny has nailed the photos for me like crazy I just I can't believe it I'm so proud of him and grateful for him being on my team so um, thanks for everybody I'll see you later and I'll update you on how much we sell this house for